Hi, this is MXUX. So, casual situation. Uh, a couple days ago, met uh, somebody that's a uh, some acquaintances of mine uh, in the finance industry, and also uh, this was someone that I hadn't met before, and I couldn't tell you who it was if I knew. But there was some interesting information about Lordstown Motors. I was talking to the bar, talking to an individual I know who is, uh, I'm not going to go into his history, uh, it's just a casual acquaintance, someone in the finance industry. One of the people he was with happened to be someone who was uh, an analyst in the EV space. Um, started talking about Lordstown Motors, um, found out, just for everybody out there that's uh uh, that's a townie, Lordstowner, um, knew nothing about Lordstown, nothing about the hub motors. And this guy was, you know, someone who was an analyst in the EV space. So I can tell you that uh, Lordstown Motors is not getting much attention in that space. However, um, I was talking to him, and this is, we start talking about Lordstown. So I was curious to see what he had to say about it. And he goes, yeah, um, you know, I, uh, yeah, Goshen was interested in them. I go, who's Goshen? Uh, he goes, oh, it's a, it's a Chinese battery company. I go, well, wh what do you mean interested in them? He goes, I don't know. There was just, just a rumor floating around. I'm, I'm not sure what it was about. I go, well, you know. Was it about the Fox Condilly? I don't know. Did they want to buy them? I don't know. Are they going to work with them? I don't know. So that's the sum total of the information. But uh, he specific, but he was adamant that you know Goshen either is or was interested in the whole Lordstown deal. Okay. That was all the specifics he could give me because that's the rumor that was going around. So here's Goshen High Tech Limited. This is a Chinese company, and I'm going to just go through a few things real quickly here. This is where they're listed. They're at $35.60 a share. They've been from $30 to $66, uh, listed on a Chinese exchange. There's the chart. Goshen uh, principally engaged in the man. Uh, here we go. Principally engaged in the manufacture of uh, lithium ion powers. Okay. Um, China Battery Goshen to build two lithium plants. Here's the biggest new headline Volkswagen becomes biggest shareholder of China's EV battery maker, Guxon, Guxon, Gitchen, whatever. This was two years ago. Okay. Um, here is, this is Goshen's, uh, they're a subdivision of Shanghai Electric, okay? And this is a big, I mean, this is a big company. It does a lot of different stuff. But uh, the main thing with Goshen is lithium-ion phosphate, phosphate cells. Uh, these have a lot of advantages in EVs. Now, now they have listed here, <clears throat> uh, this is one of their product fields, but another one of their product fields is, is, uh, EV power. But, uh, the lithium ion phosphate is the battery that, Tesla will change. Uh, this was uh, October 21. New type of battery in its, all its standard range cars. Okay. This is no news to anybody that's following anything. Uh, the new batteries will use a lithium ion phosphate chemistry rather than a nickel cobalt. There's been a lot of talk about the nickel price of nickel and so forth. So, again, 
lithium ion phosphate, lithium ion phosphate. Okay. Uh, Gosh, Goxin, Goshen, uh, lithium ion phosphate, lithium ion phosphate, and they have Volkswagen and high tech team up to industrialize battery cell production in Europe. So, um, this, I'm not sure the date on this, but I'm just trying to make a point here. Goshen, Goshen, uh, deep, well, deep in their partnership, uh, May 2020 is referenced here. So, this is, um, I don't know what the date is on this. Let's just see if we can get this to work here. Oh, all right. Well, anyway, Volkswagen's deeply involved. Okay. Um, we're not that concerned about Volkswagen anyway. Um, let's just move on here. Now, this is the Goshen. There are a number of sites for Goshen. Again, this is part of Shanghai Electric. This is a giant you know, Chinese conglomerate that does absolutely everything. And Goshen is one part of this. Um, and you can see electrification, uh, clean energy, R&D. Okay. Um, now, let's just go up here to the company. And... Uh, let me see if I can find this here. Okay, about Goshen, located in the heart of the Silicon Valley, Fremont, which is, uh, uh, you know, Teslaville and so on and so forth. Uh, there, uh, what drives us? Simple thought, really clean energy, main fuel driver, fueling our lives, blah, 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 blah. Go down here, Goshen. This is, I believe, their Fremont location, Silicon Valley. Um, our locations, Shanghai, Tuskabupa, Singapore, Fremont, Independence, Independence, Ohio? What? What the heck? They got a location in Independence, Ohio? You know, Independence Ohio, R&D site, specializing in optimizing new battery components and systems with a particular focus on electrolyte components. In addition, blah, 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 electrolyte salts, blah, 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 primary and secondary batteries. The question is, you know, are, and here's the careers, research scientists, associate scientists, so on and so forth. You know, are they, are they working who are they working with here? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that, but I think it's very curious. Uh, uh, you know, could they be working with General Motors? The uh, Their new General Motors, new major battery plant is next to Lordstown. Okay. And just uh, for reference here, this is Independence, Ohio. This is in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. Cuyahoga is an Indian name. Um, there's a lot of Indian names for different places in Ohio, and this is approximately uh, 60 minutes drive time, 50 minutes, 45 minutes drive time, 40 minute drive time from the Lordstown plant, and if you wanted, and this would, you would put a business here because you'd have a access to the Cleveland airport, which flies all over the world. And uh, I'm just spitballing here. But very uh, interesting. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, let me see. I, I don't have a map, but, but, you know, this would be Cuyahoga Independence, and this would be, Trumbull, and this would be the state of Ohio, like something like that, okay? And this is this is Cleveland here, and Independence is a suburb of that. And then you take the turnpike here, and it's about a 40-minute drive southeast to Lordstown. Um, 
This is Transport Topics. Uh, Lord Stein Slumps, as CEO, warns of hurdles in Foxconn deal. And this is Feb 28, 22, blah, 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 blah. Dandy Avaji goes, oh, we are uh, doing, we are moving forward and um, uh, yada, yada, yada. And Navaji said the company isn't considering alternatives if the Foxconn deal falls through. But we'll look at plan B if necessary. What does all this mean? I don't know. Uh, I have no other information than this. Uh, this is second, third hand rumor. But I thought it was interesting since Lordstown is a black box. Um, I thought maybe this might be something uh, that you guys out there could look into. Maybe you could put in the comments uh, what you think of this and what it, what would that mean? The rumor was that uh, auction was uh, interested in the Lordstown deal or interested in Lordstown. I don't know. All conjecture. This, please do. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Don't make any financial decisions based on this. Um, this is a business case study, but I thought this was very interesting that this would come in, come up in conversation. I can tell you, uh, these guys got gravitas I was talking to. Uh, but the guy had no information other than, oh, yeah, Lordstown, auction. I heard a, yeah, the rumor was, uh, auction was interested in him. That's all I got. All right, this is MXUX. I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, thanks for watching. I got a short and distort video coming out. Let's, uh, guys out there, do some research. Tell me uh, if you have any information on this. Put it in the comments.